Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another virtual chapel that we are going to be looking at today, forgiving others as God has forgiven us. When we look at this last week of uh, Lent before Passion Week coming up, uh, Palm Sunday is coming up, Jesus begins to show us the passion of his love for us in his suffering, his death, and his resurrection. And we're thankful for that because we realize that he gave it all for us. And today we're going to look at a couple of stories uh, by Jesus with his disciples, but specifically with Peter. One, Peter came to Jesus and said, uh, Lord, how many times should I forgive somebody? Seven times, maybe? And he thought that was pretty good. But Jesus goes, no, not seven times. Try 70 times seven. And Peter goes, what? I can't keep track of that. Well, that was Jesus' point. Don't keep track of how many times you forgive your brother or your sister in Christ or someone who offends you. Jesus says, you don't realize how much was given for you to be forgiven. And the little bit that you need to forgive others is hardly anything. So he tells a story about the, the man that owed the king a lot of money. And then he forgave him that money. But that gentleman went out and found someone else, one of his servants, and they, he owed him about $2. And he said, I want that money. And he was very emphatic about it, and he got him arrested because he didn't pay back the money. So the king heard about it, and he brought him back, and he said, look, I forgave you this huge amount of money, and you couldn't forgive just $2 or a small amount of money. And Jesus says, this is how my Father in heaven looks down upon you as you deal with your brothers and sisters in Christ or with this world. Understand, you have been given much, much forgiveness. You should be able to forgive others. So when someone comes to you and says, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that, please forgive me. We say, you're forgiven. And you don't count it up and say, okay, and that's the fifth time you've done that. Fifth time you pushed me into the mud. How many more times do you have to push me in the mud before you run finally stop? No. We don't keep track of it. Jesus says, 70 times 7. Can't keep track of how many times. Don't worry about it. Do forgive. Allow that person to be able to know that they can start fresh. That you're going to forgive and you're going to forget that sin. And be able to bring them back as a brother or sister in Christ, as a friend or whatever that might be in their relationship to you. All right, so today we're going to be working with kindergarten class, and they have a song to share, and they have also some other things to, to show you about forgiving others, as God has forgiven us. And they're going to show you the wiping the clean of the hand from our sin. Wiping clean forgiveness. How God forgives us and you. When we do the invocation, we want to begin in our name of our God, who watches over us. And actually, this is really, really important. God guides us in the work that we do by His Holy Spirit. And when we invoke His name, we say, begin in the name of God, we say, God, come and help guide us in this special moment that we can tell others about Jesus and His love. And that's what we're called to do. So, so we put our hand up and we say, let us begin. In the name of our God, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now, this time we're going to read a Bible verse that uh, we have in the Bible that talks about forgiving other people. Okay? So, I'm going to repeat, or I'll say it, and then I want you guys to repeat back to me, okay? So... The first one is from Ephesians 4.32. So say it with me. Ephesians 4.32. And it says, Be kind and loving to each other. Forgive each other. Oh yeah, forgive. That's like this. Forgive each other. And just as God 
has forgiven, has forgiven you. you. And what? Now, why does this mean forgiveness? Why does this mean forgiveness? What? It, what? What is this hand on top doing to the hand on the bottom? Oh, Mason, what do you think? What's this hand doing? Why does that mean forgiveness? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. I know. Uh, Caroline, what do you think? It's pushing the sin away. It's wiping my hand clean of the sin. You know, sometimes when you get your hands dirty, you're washing them up, and you wash the water down the drain. The dirt goes down, but your hands still stay on your hands, right? You never lose your hands. The hands stay there. Your skin stays there. But the sin or the dirt is wiped away. So that they're using that, that the symbolism in the song we just sang to wipe away or forgive our sin. Remember, this means to clean your hand, be forgiven of your sin. Okay. Forgive one another. Say that with me. I tell you, 
You must forgive. You must forgive. More than seven times. More than seven times. You must forgive. You must forgive. Him seven times seventy. Seven times seventy. That's a lot. That's four hundred and ninety. Wow. I can lose track of that. I forget. So what Jesus is saying, you should forgive. If someone comes to you, Mason, and says, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I hope you're okay. I didn't mean to push you down. If they come to you and ask for forgiveness, you should what are you supposed to do? Forgive them. Mason, I'm asking Mason, what? Forgive them. Forgive them. Yeah, even if every day they come out there and they push you down, and they go, I'm sorry, are you okay? You say, yeah, you're forgiven. But can you stop pushing me down? I'll try. Okay, I forgive you. So forgiveness sometimes cannot be easy. One verse nine. So ready? Let's say it with me. First John one verse nine. Okay. And repeat after me. But if we confess, but if we confess our sin, our sins, he, he, God, God will forgive our sins. Will forgive our sins. We can trust God. We can trust God. He does what is right. He does what is right. He, he will make us clean. He will make us clean. From all the wrongs. From all the wrongs. We have done. We have done. That's a good reading because we know God forgives us through Jesus Christ and He helps us to start a fresh start, a new start each day. Can we pray the Lord's Prayer? We can pray some of it. We'll pray it together. I'm going to echo it. And you'll pray it pray with me. Okay, please hold your hands. And we're, we're going to echo it. That means I want to say the first part, and then you'll say to follow. You'll repeat it, just like we did the Bible verses. Okay? So, bow your head. Bow your head. Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. On earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us. And forgive us. Our trespasses. Our trespasses. As we forgive. Those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power. And the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. And we call we call that the Lord's Prayer because the disciples said, "Teach us to pray." And Jesus, Jesus said, "If you want to learn how to pray, here's a good prayer. This is a prayer that I pray." And he prays it, and he prays it for the disciples, and they listened to it, and then they prayed it too. So this was a prayer the Lord Jesus gave to his disciples. And that we still say today. Okay, so this is Mark 11, 25. Say it with me. Mark 11, verse 25. Say it again. Mark 11, verse 25. Good. So repeat after me. When you are praying, and you remember that you are angry, with another person, with another person, 
about something, about something. then forgive him. If you do this, then your Father in heaven will also forgive you your sins. Right, we have his forgiveness already, but God is pleased. God is very pleased when we forgive each other, like the one story here, the two dollars or somebody pushes us down and they ask for forgiveness, we say we're sorry. And God is pleased, very happy, when we're able to forgive others that have hurt us. And they ask us for forgiveness, especially if they ask us for forgiveness, we need to give them forgiveness. We can't say, I don't want to forgive you. You're too mean to me. Get out of here. Well, that'd be terrible. God would say, well, you want me to act like that to you? And we say, no, 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 don't act that way to me. But he, he keeps doing this to me. Seven, seven times he's pushed me in the mud. I don't like that. And Jesus said, how many, how many times, how many times should we forgive a person? Seventy times seven. Or that means more than we can ever remember. Silly voice. You like my silly voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we need to have a closing prayer. Closing. Yep. So let's let's pray this last little prayer together. Oh my God. Last little prayer. So we pray. Hold your hands again. But let's let's pray. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Please. Please. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. And help me, and help me to, forgive others. to forgive others. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name we, pray. we pray. Amen. Amen.